First at Vive, fighting in school is becoming more frequent and it's happening at a younger age. Thanks for joining us. I'm Neil Wong. And I'm David Rose. The Everett School District is addressing concerns from parents as more than 400 acts of aggression are being reported at middle schools. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is at district headquarters with more on the issue. Frankie? One family filed a tort claim against Everett School District, claiming administrators did nothing to hold their students' attackers accountable. We spoke with a principal whose school is seeing the most fights reported out of all of the middle schools in the district. Evergreen Middle School tops the list as the most violent middle school in the Everett School District with the highest number of fights reported. But Principal Sarah Idle says the school's reputation proves that is far from the truth. The large majority of our students are doing the right thing every single day. They're here, they're following the expectations. What we're seeing are for some students, they're going to need a higher level of support. And so we're working on that. Data from the Washington Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction says Evergreen reported 168 fights this school year between September and May, the highest of all middle schools in the district. But Idle says the numbers are misleading, clarifying the data entry makes Evergreen appear more violent than it is. There's a state reporting system, so the state of Washington requires that we code incidents in, in very particular ways and that they get entered in a very particular way. So we have two students that are involved in a physical altercation, um, so that's one component. And then we have these other students who are filming it, and they each get coded as well. So you're talking about multiple entries potentially for one event. School needs to be Attorney Sim Osborne says there's another side to this story and data. He's representing the family of a middle school student in the district that he says has been beaten and bullied for the past year and a half, all starting with cyberbullying. First you're bullied online, right? There'll be some bullying online. So that's there with you 24 hours a day. Then you go to school and you get in a fight and there's kids following you around knowing there's going to be a fight, and they video, t video it on their phones, then they upload it to the Internet. So that's there for however long the digital media stands up. Osborne says the family made several complaints and calls to the district with no action from administrators, reasons why his clients filed a damages claim to hold the district accountable. They have a, they have a right to a safe learning environment. How can you concentrate if you're thinking you're going to get beat up? Somebody's got to be accountable and there has to be change. This cannot be allowed to go on because that school has failed our fam the, my client's family and has failed their entire community. Though the district says it cannot comment on the pending litigation, Idol says her school is already working on new prevention plans for the next school year to reduce fighting. They're creating three new groups by August, including getting parents and families involved in recognizing the signs of conflict, how to seek help, and peer mediation. We have plans for um, targeted small groups. So working with students who may have been in a fight this year, we want to make sure that they hit the ground run running this fall um, with the, the supports that they need to make better choices. OSPI says it has been in contact with the Regional School Safety Center about all of these fights, saying the center is talking with the district to see what support is needed to address this issue. Reporting in Everett, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.